guys, how you doing? Tacoma Comics here, and I am super excited today. I got myself uh, another little haul from Midtown Comics. I told you the other day that they had a 60% off sale. They had a 75% off sale uh, for International Women's Day uh, last Friday, I believe. Um, and they just had a bunch of really cool comics that I, that I grabbed, um, stuff that I, I wanted, stuff I wanted duplicates of, stuff that uh, I didn't know existed, but I saw and I was like, I got to get that. Uh, this is not the usual place to do videos from. This is my school. I just everything gets delivered to school now, and I had some time before my next class, so I wanted to knock this video off. Uh, first up is Pretty Deadly from Kelly Sue DeConnick, Emma Rios, uh, Jordi Belair, and Clayton Cowles. This is Midtown Comics exclusive cover for number one by Jenny Frizen. That is Death Face Ginny is the name of the character and. My lord, that's a cool freaking cover. Check that out, man. I'm, I'm stoked. I got to meet Jenny Fraser and get her to sign this and get her signed to my Wonder Woman someday because uh, she's done some great, great work. Really excited about that. This was the uh, Volkreis, I hope it's pronounced Volkreis, Valkyries variant to uh, number six. Um, Valkyries are a collection, I guess, of uh, female comic shop owners and workers. Uh, managers and stuff who get together and kind of support women in comics. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool to give them a variant cover um, that supports them. You can see right there it says for the Valkyries. Valkyries? Valkyries? <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I apologize to everybody, including all Norse mythology fans, for getting the pronunciation wrong. Just because they had them, I got, uh, it's not upside down, that's the way it looks. I got three extra number ones. Um, might be excessive, but they were coming in 75% off, so it was pretty inexpensive. And uh, I told you last time I saw Kelly Sue at Emerald City Comic Con, I was really excited to get um, have a whole bunch of Bitch Planet number ones and gave them out to some people online and uh, actually gave Kelly Sue one. And uh, she's like, I don't even have any number ones. So that felt pretty good. So, you know, for a dollar supporting the cause and stuff, I thought that'd be pretty cool. Um, this one I showed you in earlier video about three or four months ago, but I got another copy of this. I think I'm going to take out the poster and, and frame it. Um, Christian Ward does the art on this. This is Odyssey um, from Matt Fraction and Christian Ward, and I'm just going to unfold the whole thing. It is like an eight-page fold-out, which is just phenomenal. Uh, Christian Ward just finished up his run on Black Bolt with Salomon Ahmed, and I've yet to read that. I'm probably going to get the trade because uh, it looks really good in both the things. But he's now doing the King Thor storyline, and I just saw a preview of his art, and it looked amazing. So this is what his art looks like. These are his types of colors. Um, you know, it will be a little bit different. It's not going to be exactly the same. Excuse me. So long. But just to have a comic, you know, give Image Comics a uh, big shout-out, too. I don't know many other comic book companies that are going to go ahead and just be like, yeah, issue number one of a brand new untested comic. Put an eight-page layout in there. That's fine. That sound you just heard is the door opening. My uh, got a guy who shares my room with me coming in to get ready for his next class. Oh nope, that's a student coming to deliver something. Hold on one second. What you got, buddy? Oh, you got my recycling. That's the students to pick up the recycling. There you go. Take the whole box out. Thank you very much. Sorry about that interlude. Yep. Take care, buddy. Uh, that is Odyssey number 12. I don't think I ever had 12. I'm pretty sure I didn't. So now I've got the first 12, and I think that's where they stopped. I hope they continue it or do something else in that same vein. If you're not familiar with Odyssey, it is a retelling, a science fiction, <laughs> supernatural retelling of Homer's Odyssey with a galaxy or a universe where there's only female characters. So really, really cool stuff. Um, and Matt Fraction wrote it all in pentameter. Some meter, I, I can't remember. I think he wrote, wrote an iambic pentameter, which is like, that's getting crazy and crazy cool. I mean, it was a lot of fun to read. Really cool stuff there. Um, all right, man. Take care. Have a good day. Uh, I like this I like this run that Kelly Thompson did on, on Hawkeye. Um, Kate Bishop's really cool character. Uh, you know, the, the, the funny take on this is that design where there's holes in the side of the, uh, the leggings. Nobody knows why. And you know, she's like refuses to answer, which I think is pretty cool. And then you have um, right here, you, you can kind of see that. If you look in the middle here, um, right by her arm there, you can see there's just uh, 
there's a hole in the side of her bodysuit, which doesn't make much sense, but doesn't have to because it's comics. And if it made sense, it wouldn't be half as much fun. So that's the design variant to uh, number one. That was by uh, Leonardo Romero. I picked up this. I am not a Gwenpool fan at all, but I got this for the Miss Marvel cover. This is the uh, Gwenpool something variant. What is it? Gwenpool special number one, cover D. Emanuela, Emanuela Lupacino did that cover. Um, again, I just got it because I'm a Miss Marvel fan. Pretty psyched to have that one. Uh, moving on. Had a couple Champions variants that I did not have. I have almost every <laughs> uh, Champions number one variant except the really expensive ones. But this is, I thought, pretty cool. A uh, little black and white action with some color thrown in there. That's the teacher that just came in that shares my room. So don't freak out that there's another person in here. Another Champions number one variant. I thought that one was super cool, and I can't believe I didn't have that one yet. Uh, and then finally, got uh, Midtown Comics. This is an exclusive uh, variant to number one of Black Science, which I also thought was really darn cool. Having kind of like that medieval knight in the background um, up against our main protagonist here. So some cool variants. Not, not much of a big pickup there, but some cool stuff. Here's the one that I really liked. I haven't actually looked at it yet. I've opened the box, I'll tell you, but I got this box in the mail today. I didn't expect to be doing this video till later in the week because uh, she said she was mailing these over the weekend, but they got here today, so that's some darn good service. This is from JoJo, better known as Pop.Comics, and uh, I won a little giveaway she was doing. Please check out her channel, subscribe. Uh, she's great. She's got the, uh, the woman cave down there in her apartment or house in Vegas, and you know I'm happy because I only saw her pack up a few of these. I don't know what's in all of them. I haven't opened it yet. This is a true surprise here. So I am super stoked. Do some scissor action. Take a look at this. Well packed because, you know, members of the community. Holy cow. I just saw that. There's a certificate of authenticity. I've got a signed comic there. Was not expecting that. I am super excited. Oh my gosh, I, I just saw, just read that certificate. I know what this is. Hold on a second. Let me get this. A lot of wrap on this. Really well-wrapped stack of comics here. Let's get the scissors in there without cutting anything. Nice. Jojo, you are the best. So, funny story. I got 10 subscribers to my YouTube channel, and, you know, I did a 10 subscriber uh, contest giveaway, which, you know, most people wait to 100, and I got my 101 going on now, but this was number 10, and uh, I just took my first 10 subscribers. Most of them came over from Instagram, and uh, JoJo won that one, so now I won one of her contests. I swear everything is on the up and up. Those are tetrahedral kites and hot air balloons my students made behind me, by the way. Let's see what we got here. DC Comic Essentials, Batman and Robin, number one, uh, by Paul Tomasi, and I don't know the rest of them, but you can read their names here. Uh, Batman and Robin, Born to Kill, graphic novel. This is the first chapter from that. I have no idea what this is about. I can't wait to read it. Batman, The Long Halloween. That's a Halloween Comic Fest comic there. Uh, Tim Sale and Joseph Loeb, I guess, uh, the creators on that. Pretty cool. Oh, now check that out. A little Amazing Spider-Man number one, Dan Slott. Very cool indeed. Dwayne McDuffie, artwork on, or is that artwork or writer, on uh, Justice League of America, Injustice League of America number 13. Very cool. I'm going to have to take some time off and do some reading. Green Lantern Corps from the New 52, issue number 30. Very nice. A little uh, Green Lantern looks like some crazy hair or like bull horns there. From Legion of Collectors, this is uh, Aquaman Adventure Comics starring Aquaman. And there's uh, Black Mantis up there. There's Legion of Collectors. I don't know if that's like a Scotty Young style variant or if it's the whole thing is more like kid comic for adventures. So I'll read that, then I'll give it to my kids, let them read it. 
Batman Riddler, number one. Again, Legion of Collectors, 23.2, whatever that means. Again, I guess he's got a whole bunch of these from Legion of Collectors. They don't look like Scotty Young, except they look like, you know, almost like the Collector Core um, or Funko Pop figures, I guess. I don't know. There's Batgirl, 35. So I'm psyched, man. This is like a massive pile of comics. Suicide Squad, right there. Little Joker's in Harley Quinn's hands. Very nice. DC number one. Oh, I have not read any of the um, Before Watchmen stuff, and that's Darwin Cook on the artwork there. Very cool. Another Aquaman from New 52, number 30 right there. That's some pretty cool artwork. I like that. Justice League of America, Buried Alive, Brad Metzler, and is that Gene, Gene Ha? I don't know his work very well. Oh, check it out. Now we're going old school. A little team-up action between the Amazing Spider-Man and the Incredible Hulk. $1.25. I guess this is from about 1990, 91 maybe. Let's see how I'm doing with my pricing. Maybe 89, but no, I think it's probably later than that. 1993, yeah, much later than that. Okay, very cool. Thank you, JoJo. That's kind of the old school action when I stopped collecting comics when I was in college and poor. I discovered some other things to do in college. That's probably 1991. Little Spider-Man Punisher team up there. Amazing Spider-Man number 358. $1 comic. Oh, sweet. So Bendis just got announced to be at uh, Rose City Comic Con, which is cool because I've got tickets for all three days. Um, this is Ultimate Spider-Man number 97. I did not have, um, I didn't get to see him because he was at Emerald City Comic Con on Saturday and, and Friday, and I was there Thursday and Sunday. Um, so I missed him, but I'll get to see him now. That was a Clone Saga Part 1. Oh, that's really cool. This one is the Carnage Part 5. Ultimate Spider-Man 64 by Bendis again, and uh, I guess it's Bagley, but Peter Bagley? I can't remember. It should get better with all my creators. Check it out, man. Carnage Part 4, Ultimate Spider-Man 63. Some really cool artwork there. I like that cover. Sweetness. The Flash, Fastest Man Alive. I don't know any of these creators. There it is, uh, number two. Too Hot to Handle. Dude, it just keeps going on and on and on. Dead Drop. Comes with a certificate of authenticity. This was signed in 2015 at Stadium Comics in Ontario. Wow. By Adam Gorham. I don't know anything about Dead Drop. I don't know any. I know a little bit about Valiant stuff. Um, but that's Dead Drop. Uh, that's Alice Cott on the uh, writing. And Adam Gorham on the artwork, and that's his signature. You know I love to collect myself some Siggies. I didn't get this because I didn't want to get suckered into it, but now I'm super psyched. Super, super psyched. This one is signed by Amy Chu. Uh, this is Certificate of Authenticity. This is the Kiss Number 1 BAM Box Exclusive Color Edition. Is one of a specially limited series of copies. Oh, signed by John Lucas. Sorry, not signed by Amy Chu. Um, like I could read that signature, but that's signed by John Lucas, who I assume is the cover artist. Very cool. I'll see if I can catch Amy Chu at a con and uh, get her to sign this. We've got the cat, we've got the star man, we've got Paul Stanley, Peter Chris, Ace Freely, and Gene Simmons. Not as cool as he was when I was in second grade, but that's okay. Oh, I did not get this. Very cool. Weird World, number one, signed by Mike Del Mundo. Very nice, doing the artwork there. Got his signature on the bottom, went with a nice gold on black. Very cool. And this next one I did not pick up either, though I sort of attempted. This is another BAM exclusive. Vampirella, number one from Dynamite. Very, very cool. And that is signed by Anthony Marquis. Marquise, Marquis, Marquise, I'm not sure. That's another Bambox exclusive edition. One of the specially limited series of copies signed by Anthony Marquise. And this nice, cool foil 
cover so nobody can, that's the only one that had the foil cover, nobody can rip it open and replace it with something else. So I thought that was pretty darn cool. I thought that was everything. And then I was digging through the bubble wrap. And there's more. I'm super psyched here, man. Jojo, this is like out of the way to give a really cool set of comics. And I didn't mean, there of any of this. I did nothing but be subscribed to her channel. Let's see. It looks like we got two massive graphic novels here. The greatest Joker stories ever told. That's a sick looking goldfish on the cover. So I'm definitely going to give that a read because it's not just Joker stories. It's the greatest Joker stories ever told. That's pretty cool. And then finally, the greatest Batman stories ever told to go along with the greatest Joker stories. So that is a massive, massive pile of comics and books for uh, a freebie win where I really did not have to do anything. I'm not being greedy. I'm just double checking. Nope, there's nothing in there. Cool. So JoJo, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Everybody, please check out her channel. I'll leave a link right down there in the description. Uh, Pop.comics is, is what she goes by. She's on Twitter. She's on Instagram. She's on YouTube. Um, she does a lot of great hauls, a lot of great videos, and obviously so some great giveaways. So thank you so much, JoJo. You guys, if you like this video want to see more hauls, give me a, a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my 1 to 100 subscriber contest. I've got a pile. Take out that. I got a pile about approaching that same size to give away. Uh, all the rules are, are there. You can read them in the contest video. And uh, that's it for now, guys. Take care. Have a good day. This is Tacoma Comics saying goodbye.